Now for me, the most important things for high school, besides a really good backpack, are figuring out how your, your own individual child likes to stay organized. Some kids like to have one big binder, and other kids like to have a binder for every subject. To be successful in high school, each kid has to find their own learning style and their own organizational style. The other thing is, try not to let them con you into buying really expensive stuff that they think looks cool. Basic math sets, basic sets of pencil crayons, basic binders, they work just as well as the really, really fancy name brand things. There's a lot of different backpacks out there and one of the biggest challenges is finding a balance with your child between a backpack that's really expensive and one that has a style that they like and, and then a backpack that fits within your budget. If your kid really wants a new backpack every year, it's not worth it to spend $150 on a backpack that has a lifetime warranty. Kids in high school don't really need markers. In grade nine, definitely they need pencil crayons because they will be um, doing geography class. They still have to color maps and stuff, but really keep an eye on what kinds of courses your kids are taking because um, once they finish and they're not doing art, they don't really need a lot of arty supplies. So don't let them talk you into a whole new set of pencil crayons every year because they absolutely won't need it. Whatever they used the previous year, you can come at, keep at home in case they have projects. Usually I like to buy a bulk box with lots of different markers and, or pencil crayons in them and then I share it out between my three kids. I wouldn't necessarily buy markers at the dollar store. The color does run out fairly quickly. Markers is one of those places is where it is worth it to buy a name brand. Most of the kids will need to have a, some kind of a jump drive or portable USB. When they're in high school, they do a lot of group work and most of it's on the computer. Many of the schools now are litterless lunch environments, so your kids are gonna be bringing home anything that you put into their lunchbox. A lot of families now are using bento box type pa packaging to send lunches to school. But what about apples, peaches, wet things? They're just gonna throw it back in the lunchbox. Kids are busy. Sometimes they only have 20 minutes to eat. And they're just dumping all their garbage back into their lunchbox. What I found is these lunchboxes that have, have removable plastic liners. And with those liners, I can just take that plastic out, wash it, and put it back in, and I don't have to worry about a stinky lunchbox. No matter what your kids say and what they need right from the beginning, just remember that less is more. Those uh, stationary stores don't close once school starts. Get what you exactly need and then if you need you can go and replenish your supply later. Thanks for joining us today. We hope we've been able to answer all your questions about what your kids need to have a successful school year. If you have any other questions you can always connect with us at www.ourkids.net and ask your questions. We'd be happy to answer them.